This episode of the Flavor Flav Show is brought to you guys by Tote and Carry, the ultimate travel bag, and also travel bag sets. Travel bag sets consist of two travel bags, a vest, and a backpack. Check out the backpack. So check out the link in the description and pick up some of these bags, y'all. At my crib, I got furs and I got minks. But right now in my studio, I'm getting ready to bring y'all my main man. Sir Jinx. Ladies. Yo, Jinx! Whoa. Cold outside. <laughs> What's up, play boy? It's always good to see you again, man. How I'm you good, doing, man. Jinx? I'm real What's good. What's going man. on, Jinx? What's going for you, man? Hey, yo, check one, two, everybody. I got my boy Sir Jinx in the building! Yeah, G. Act like you know. You know what I'm saying, toe to toe, and this is how we flow. You word to the bird, baby. I got my boy Sir Jinx in the building. You know what I'm saying, yo, Jinx. Thanks for coming to my spot. Oh man, thanks for having me, man. Word up, man. About on time, the... man. Huh? About time. Yeah, yeah, it's about time. Cause I ain't seen your ass in a long time. But look where we at. <laughs> right here in my studio, Flavor Flame Show, baby. Wow, Sir Jinx. Hey, yo, Jinx. Yeah, yeah. Have a seat, man, right there okay. on that couch. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Here, I got some stuff for you, man. I brought Okay. Some we okay, we going to sit and talk yeah. about it. <laughs> Sir Jinx in the building, baby. Yeah, boy. That's right in the place to be from the bottom to the T.O.P. I got my man, Sir Jinx in the building. Yes, I'm finally Yo, here. Jinx, man. You finally let a DJ come sit on your couch. Hey, come on, man. man. I couldn't have it no other way, DJ baby. Union was on you, man, because, you know, Terminator X was like, uh, come on, where's the DJs at? <laughs> I know he's pissed at you. Hey, yo, let me tell you something, <laughs> man. First of all, I just want to say... It's been a long time, my brother, long man, time, since man. I saw you, man. You know what I'm saying? First of mm -hmm. all, thank you for coming through, Jinx, oh, man. Oh, thank you, man. You know what I'm saying? And sharing, sharing your time and your knowledge and your presence with me, man. Anything for Flavor yeah, Flav, you man. You know what I'm saying? Word up. And see, let me let everybody know. That back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Word up, man. On the strength, you know what I'm saying? Um, Way back in the days when Ice Cube... Okay. Was making his album America's Most Wanted. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Jinx was the Ice Cube DJ. And boy, did we have nothing but fun, 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 yeah. fun. This has always been my brother. And then when I came out to LA in 2003, Right. You know what I'm saying? Living on Colfax and Burbank. Now you got it. Colfax. Colfax and Burbank. Right. You know what I'm saying? When Cube right. was here, I said Fairfax. Right, right. We, you know we, what I'm saying? But, but you, and you, that was the wrong information to everybody. But you, you, have really a real, you have a real good memory just to remember that word and all the stuff that you've been going through, you know, you've been through in your life. And I, I was like, he's on point. I mean, you, you wasn't up at the right house, but you was damn sure on the right street. But, but, but yeah, I was yeah, on the right yeah, street, yeah, right? Yeah, I wasn't was at the right sure. house, but I was right, the right, right street. Right, 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 You know right. what I'm saying? If you That's were saying right. something, that was the truth. Like, yes, fuck it. Burbank Colfax, everybody. Right, right. And let me tell you something, because I was staying with Princess. You know, my good friend right. Princess Hempfield. And Jinx stayed right down the block from me. You know what I'm saying? Right when I discovered corner. that, he never got rid of me. I was down at this guy's house damn near every day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word hey, Flav, it's like, it's, like, <laughs> it's like knowing you, Flav, is like when you come over, it's like knowing like a celebrity... But then the celebrity would come over like in a in a in a in a in a in a, in a shower robe. Like you would see him in a way you're not supposed to see him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you come over, he'd be like six in the morning, I'd be like, yo, Jinx, <laughs> yo, Jinx. And you think it's funny. See? It's like you're laughing now. 
But early in the Cause, morning, cause play. Because this, this is the future now, and man. And then my, my, my neighbors is like, is that Flav or Flav? Like, you know, because you know, you, you, you known by all nationalities and all people. So it's just funny that see you yeah. in my driveway in that big old bicycle you used to have. And, the uh, big yellow was, one. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, gotta, I still got it too. You got to get on a, a on a, a street light to get on that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But but it was it was all fun, man. And 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 one of the best things uh, with, with me and you that you would never see flavor flavor. Well, you would never think flavor flavor would be at right. So flavor, I come pick pick flavor up. Like, what you doing, man? Let's go. We get in the car. I don't know what I have a Jag. I had a Jaguar. Yep, you had the Jaguar. Had a Jaguar. You had a Jaguar. And That's and right. Right. So then I'd be like, "Hey, Flav, roll with me up to the studio." So he's like, "All right, cool. Let's roll to the studio." So then we go, and it's like a death row session. You know what I'm right. saying? So right. So it's like kind of grim in there. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody's kind of like not being, you know, happy. And Flav like, "Yo, what up, G?" It was. It was. All, it was. It looked like the whole studio was in black and white. <laughs> and Flav was the only one in color. Like, and they couldn't say nothing. <laughs> what could they say? Like, you yeah. know, like, hey, hey, homie, quiet that down. They, they couldn't say nothing because, you know, uh, Suge allowed it. You know, and Flav's like, yo, start that beat again. It, it's not even his session. He's telling them to play, play that one, play that one again. Oh, you like that one, Flav? Yeah, play it again. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No yeah. doubt. No so doubt. it was always a blessing to have you around because people, they, they, you know, they thought you was a celebrity. So a game banger or somebody that's tough like that, see you walk in the room, they never think they'll ever see you in life. So it was right. always a blessing to take you around with me. When I, <laughs> Do my little driving around LA and shit. Take Flav. Oh man, it's a, it's nothing but laughs in it though. Hey, hey, let me tell you, man, it was always nothing but love and fun. Just rolling around with you, right, Jinx. Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? In the whole nine. And and not all, and, and just by being who you were, you know what I'm saying? In the whole nine and and I mean, you know, being Ice Cube's DJ right. too, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. You don't know the impact that you made on the world, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I very, appreciate it, man. Very Thank big you. impact. You know what I'm saying? But by me being at your crib, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, is when I met that kid, Norris. Right. You know what I'm saying? That was the editor for Fox 5. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the whole nine, that's how I, you know, got down on the Steve Harvey show because he was the editor for the Steve Harvey show. Mm -hmm. All of this happened by me being at your crib. Right. And it got me on the Steve Harvey show. The next thing you know, my people. house, my house in uh, the house that I had in um in uh, North Hollywood, uh huh, it was a destination, right? But it wasn't convenient. So, hey, look, check this out. So if you hey, couldn't hey, hey, find check it, this out. you would not find that house. Hey, hey, hey check this out. I don't care what you say, <laughs> but I know one thing for flavor, Flav. <laughs> It was convenient, and right. it ended up being my destination. Right, but I had I lived in L.A., so when I moved in that house, I moved far out. So I kind of made it like a rest haven for artists and, and you right. know people to get away. And um, I, I saved a lot of guys from doing some real stupid stuff by that house being the the the, the rest stop before right. you, you know you do something stupid. And right, and and I, I talked a lot of people out of doing something stupid at that house. Right. Um, um, by it being, you know, out of bounds where, you know, wherever they were going through or whatever, they would come to my house and, you know, you know, be swinging in the living room like on Boys in the Hood, you know. Right, right. But that was a place to uh, get your energy out and yes. get yourself back together. So that house was a blessing for for a lot of people. For man. a lot of people, uh, including Flav. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? It had by me some being for at, everybody. By, by me being at your crib, meeting Norris. Right. Ending up on the Steve Harvey show, right. then people seen that, then that landed me uh, a role on the Bernie Mac show, you know right. what I'm saying? Well, then, you know that, you remember we were saying that was my man Ali, shout out to Ali in the cut barbershop in, in North yeah, Hollywood. Yeah, 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 my man Ali, that they that's was, right. They was, they was doing a a, 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 a a pilot and um, they asked me to come down and of course I had you with me so I was like you want to go and you, you you didn't care so we went up there and uh, uh, how they say it the rest is history I mean that's know, right hey, that's hey, the, the right time the right yes. day the right your moons lined up when you met Chuck I mean uh, Chip and Norris right I, right when I, I met that, Chip yeah, and Norris yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. After that Bernie Mac show, then I ended up on 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 Mad TV. Right. Right? With right. With, with, with Aerie Spears mm -hmm. and everything. And then after that, then I ended up on my wife and kids with Damon Wayans. Right. They gave me an episode, a little small cameo on that show. The next thing you know, I ended up on Surreal Life 3. Right. And then the rest is history. I mean, but you're, you're all a of natural that, talent. All of so that happened I, it, it, yeah. for me by me coming down to your crib and being with you, Jinx. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... I just want to say that I'm so glad that God put you in my life, brother. Oh, I'm happy Because by too, you bro. being in my life, look where I'm at today, James. But the crazy, the crazy thing is this. I've, I've never talked about this. I never talked about this. Uh huh. And <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm letting you all know. This that's is right. Exclusive. My, my, a lot of this TV shit that I'm doing right now all started by me being at my boy Jinx crib. 2003, baby. I'm sorry, Jinx. I just had to let the world know that, man. I had to let the world know yeah. who you is, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. to me, I don't give a fuck. You may be that size that you are right now, but to me, you're larger than you life. You me forget what well, I was, was going to tell him something. I was going to tell you something. It was you're, la you're larger than life, man. <laughs> no, up, you bro. you larger than life. And uh, well, w w one of the things is um, I was just that guy that was put in a position to help other people. You know, I never really wanted to be, you right. know, in front in front of the camera per se. Right. But I always was fair right. to whoever was talented, you know, right. and wanted to do what they wanted to do the way they wanted to do it. And I really didn't have like a format. I just think I was good at helping people at what they wanted to do. You know, right. we go back to, you know, my early career and and dealing with you and you know and being around you and one of the things that um back in the day when we first started we had did we was in a group called the stereo crew right the stereo crew right we was in a group a group called the stereo crew wow so, um, that was you know me and cube and uh, katie and and another but guy you named, cube and who kd kd was okay. the other dude in the group okay so then that 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 went the way it went and um then we end up dealing with dre and then dre uh changed the name to uh cia so that's how we, wow. we did the, the cia but right still we were doing mixtapes and doing stuff at, at the rhodium with with steve yano rest in peace steve yano um and he was right. the provider to los angeles for music right so when we got bum rush to show album mm -hmm. then we made our own posse song <laughs> wow so, right because you guys had too much posse right and uh cube and that's when they said you know back it was kind of sounding like beastie boys a little bit but uh -huh. it's just so crazy to be sitting here with you <laughs> and we were admiring you guys so much that you made too much posse and we made my posse so, right uh, right 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 yeah right that, but we're here now you know so it's dope yeah I, I don't know if that was over uh 30 years ago 30 34 30 yeah, 34 yeah, 35 yeah, it's been years close ago about 30 close to 30 no it's right over now. 30 because 90 is 30 and we 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 talking 90 we talking 80 86 87 86, 87 87, you did 88. Two, you did Bum Rush to Show 86, 87. Right, 87. right. We did right. Yo Bum Rush to Show 86, 87. And that's when we And we did. released it in 87, right. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And then shit went crazy Man, we loved the, the Public Enemy album, the album cover, because, um, you know, uh, uh, Steve would have access to all the new records. Regardless on what genre or whatever, he'll have access to all of it. Right. So, you know, when we get the, you know, the beats and breaks records, you know what I'm saying? We get the, you know, the Schooly D records, you know, we get the Just Ice records, you know, it was all through through Steve. So, you know, right. when you guys came through, you know, you gotta, you know, go back to the 
the beginning to the clocks and you know and all that stuff. The stopwatches. I think it, it pretty much yep, started with yep, the stopwatches. That's 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 how it all started, man. <laughs> right. We were wearing stopwatches as right. the fad. Also, yo, mad shout goes out to my brother <laughs> Just Ice. Just Ice. Just Ice. Look at the limit is what I do. Yeah. La, 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 yeah. 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 La, 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 yeah, man, come on, man. That was my dude, yeah, man. Yeah, he was the dude. I mean, that, that was my dude. Yeah. And not only that, but that's one of the ones that really brought the gold grill to rap music. Right. He, it you was know, just shout ice. Out, shout out to yep, Just that's Ice. That's right. Just Ice brought the gold right. grills to rap music, man. Right. Then a lot of people started following that trend. And the hat. And the leather hat. Including Flav. And the hat, and the hat. You remember the big, the big hat, Just Ice. You got to give him credit for the hat too, the leather hat. But he wore it before LL. What he, was it like a like a, like it, a fedora? Nah, it was like a big kind of hat. I don't know. You remember he? It was back in New York. Y'all used to rock them with the New York, and it was like leather, and they get them made made for them. Like yo, know. was it like the airplane pilot hat? Like, like right, right, right. Yeah, because right, right. I had one of them it, it, joints. It, it, it looked like it could snap in the front. Right, snap but, in the but, front. Right, right. Or, 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 or you could um break it down and, and had air muffs. Right, 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 right. My dude. Right, right. <laughs> Yo, bro, you bringing it back, Jinx. <laughs> That's what's that man? See, let me tell you all something. The Mantronics rock that on their cover. The man. Wow, this is what I like bringing back my <laughs> old homies, man. You know what I'm saying? Inside my spot on the podcast like this. Yes. Let me tell you all something. This is nothing but pure history right here. Yeah. If it was a mystery, now you can get to but, hear uh, the history. So look, you know what I, I mean? Got something for you, man. Look. What you got, Jinx? What you got, man? What you got, bro? What you got? Is it part of history? Yes. Is it part of the history it's that we made? Of, it's a part of the because future. Because you know you helped make history, bro. It's a part of the future. Okay. This right here, I swear to God, you guys, I got it today. This is um, the remedy. The to, remedy? To the COVID. That's remedy to the COVID? Yeah. Can we unveil that? Not yet. Huh? Not yet. Hey, yo, come on, man. Let me tell you something, man. This but is, I bought, hey, 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 yo, I check bought this you out. the answer to cancer. Okay, but check this out, man. The show was a pleaser, not a teaser. Nah, nah. You well, know what I'm saying? Stop teasing this is people, for sale, man. Though. Please, people, man. This Break is for that sale. shit out the this bag, is, this baby. Is for if you don't break this that shit the, out the bag, then it'll break itself out of this there. This is the answer to the virus. Okay, whatever that is, because all I see is the plastic, uh, is a paper bag right now. This is the Corona virus, huh? The Corona. The Corona virus. <laughs> this is for the Corona virus. Okay, that's some brand new shit to right, me. Right. Yeah, what else you got in that doggone goodie bag? What's that, Jinx? You know how everybody got their liquor. I got mine too. Wow, all right. So what you call yours? That's dope, man. Jinx's juice. Juicy's juice? No, Jinx's juice. Oh, Jizzy juice? You know how Mike had Jinx's Jesus juice? Jizzy juice? No, I made Jinx's juice. Jinx's juice. G Jinx's juice. Jinxy juice. Yeah. Oh, Jinxy juice. Bye, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah. Hello. See, I just got hey, out. Hey, 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 you must have been drinking it already because you ain't speaking straight. You're slurring, kid. So that shit must be good. Yeah, this is some good stuff, man. I'm it's, called it jinxy. Every... it's called Jinxy. It's called Jinxy Jinx's juice. Okay, Jinxy juice. It's only my juice. Jinxy juice. Jinxy juice. You want no, no. Oh, yeah. I, I I don't I don't drink, man. Otherwise, I would experiment with some of that hey. with you, man. But your boys, I got a, I got a whole year and some right now. Sober off of alcohol, man, and I feel real good, bro. So I'll leave the drinking to you. I'll get you drunk though. <laughs> I'll buy you drinks like a motherfucker. It's just that I don't drink. So what I want you to do, brother. Uh oh. Is a uh, uh oh. I, I see have, you got some goodies over there, Jinx. I have this. I have this pen. It's brand new. Uh-oh. We're going to NFT that too, so keep that near. Yeah. This looks like a Sharpie. Yes. So it looks like he wants me to sign a Carpy. Look at this picture. Oh, snap. But look at the pictures on the back. Look at the pictures on the back. It really came out of a photo album. <laughs> wow. 
Show the people the picture. Hey, yo, check this out, everybody. <laughs> right. Can y'all see this? And it's in a real Let photo you see album. that real good? Y'all see this real good? This is what I call classics, y'all. You hear me? Wait a minute. Hold up. As a matter of fact, got to check out the back. Can y'all see that? Ooh. Can y'all see that? <laughs> hey, that's the classic cube right there. G. That's T-Bone right there. That's T-Bone? Right. And then I have this one over here. <laughs> That's crazy. Look, this is That's me and crazy. you. That's crazy. This is me and you. I think I don't know if we was in Chicago. <laughs> Where was we at? In New Orleans? Oh, snap. Yo, y'all got to see this. Crazy. You know I got the pictures, you guys. Oh, man. Little brother, can we see these kind of good? Or... Okay, hold on one second. What we need to do. Okay, we good? Hey, yo, man, this is crazy. Was we hey, in yo, New Jinx. Orleans? That was the Afros Jinx. thing, right? Jinx. At the Afros thing? Jinx. Yo, that's the, I, I know it's from the Afros, because you mm -hmm. see I got a big Afro. Right, right. Come on, look at the Afros. Macafram Lama, baby, word up. Yeah. Bad, yo, big shout goes out to my boy DJ Hurricane. King Boss. Yeah. That's right, the Afros. Afros. Wow, that's crazy, man. Yo, you got classics, man. So I want you to sign that, man, if you can, man. You what know what you mean if I can? I'm going. You know, to you my man. I've been keeping them pictures for a long time. I got I got a lot of pictures from back in the day, but I'm working on my um my coffee table book, so that's why I was just trying to put that out there. It's like I was taking pictures. You're working on a book, right? Right, my coffee table book for all my pictures. That's what you call it, a coffee table book. Right. What's that? Do you have a name for the book? Well, that's actually what the book is called, and then you can name it. Some a coffee table book is like a book that you have um, on the coffee table. On the coffee table, I know that, <laughs> and it has pictures like big. It's a big. It's a bigger picture that displays pictures well well you was asking me so I, I was just trying to put it out there like yeah you know. yeah yeah no doubt but um I, i've been taking pictures for years man I, yeah. I, I i really was with the elements of hip-hop meaning like you know i was in the um taking pictures you know i was in uh, uh what is it um um yearbook you know what i'm saying in high school you know i'm a graffiti artist uh -huh. i can draw um and um, one day I'll be able to get my art out there to the people so they can see how my music looks. Right. You know. No doubt. Yo, so so check this out. Let me ask you this. So I haven't seen you close to like, I don't know. Um, I haven't seen you every, every four or five years. After about, you... Uh, Okay, I haven't seen oh, you yeah. for about a good five or six years right now, right? It's been uh -huh. about a good five or six years, Jinx, since the last time I saw you. Since the... And yeah. I forgot exactly where we were the last time I seen you, but it was around that length of time ago. We were at the uh, Skid Row. At the Skid Row joint, that's right, right and Public Enemy performed right. down there. We was at the Skid and Row And you thing. came down. Mm -hmm. That's right, you came down... To, 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 to the joint, and, and that's where I saw you at. You know what I'm saying? I see you with that paper bag, man. You know what I'm saying? That remind me of being on the plane. You know when you need a bag to throw up I in just, this shit? Because I, I ain't see you take nothing this. out the bag yet. So what's that, a throw-up bag? No, I got the answer to the coronavirus. Okay, okay. Well, it seems like that bag is full of air right now. I just hope it ain't full of corona. Nah, it's... it's, it's <laughs> nah, nah, but, but yo, <laughs> but let me, but, so Jinx... So check this out. Yeah. What have you been doing? What's been going on with Jinx, man? man. I mean, I mean, since um, since we've been off the road all of these years mm -hmm. and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. the whole nine. And since you've been off the road all of these years, right? What's been going on with Jinx? What has Jinx been doing? Of uh, just studying, doing music. Just, just just loving the game being in this music situation is sometimes it's a gift and it's a curse you know you can get so much and you can lose so much right so you just take it in moderation sometimes i feel like i i want to create but i don't let the music create me you know make me make music I, like i have to really see the song 
when I make music. And some people make music to compete with other producers. Right. I don't compete with other producers because the p other producer can't do what I hear to even compete with me. So when when I do music, I just I, I, I take time out and I learn a philosophy or I learn a purpose or I learn energy. Are you producing now? Yeah, yeah, always producing parts. Do you have any records out in the street right now that we yeah. know of? Yeah. And and with who? Uh I got an album called West Wing. And uh I did that uh maybe a few years back and I got a lot of people on it, King T, um, MC eight, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh corrupt. I got right. a lot of people on it, um a gangster draster. Right. Um it's, it's, it's a chill, uh, right? A gangster from the Conrads, right? Uh, jail felony. It's a lot of people like I was like, wow, jail felony, man. <laughs> I man, you bringing it back right uh, now, bro. But it's it's out there. When people, do, you know, we deal with the internet and deal with how to get your music heard. Yeah. Sometimes it's just based. It basically, it's good just to put your music out there, and if people find it, they will find it. If you're fine, if you're searchable. You you they'll be able to find it. So I got the the West Wing album. Y'all can go go just listen to it on on YouTube or however the plat whatever platform you want to listen to the record on. And then I got another album that I had did before that called Hood War Order. And okay. That, and that's an album I did with Corrupt and Roscoe. Clear World Order. Uh, Hood War Order. Hood World Order. Okay. Right. And yo, yo, I hope y'all listening to this, man, because I want y'all to check up behind my man and right. get his shit, yo. Right. I hood I, world order. Yeah. yeah. And I've, I've been putting out uh, music just just so people can be able to find it. it, it it's not, right. It's not always where I'm looking for the best promotion or to get it to everybody. I like everybody to experience my music in their own time. Right. So um, it's, it's, it's timeless. So you can be able to listen to it because it's a mood. It's for a mood. And I also got um instrumentals. Like so I got uh instrumentals uh for um the one is called Hood um Hood. The one is called uh Beats for Food. The okay. other one is called um Next Man's Treasure. Another one is called The City Never Sleeps. Another one is Jinx Instrumentals. Wow. And then I got another one called Imperial. Imperial instrumentals. Now, when I made these instrumentals, like they from all my timeline of my life. Like, so if I've been like putting music out and giving people beats, sometimes those beats didn't get picked up, or right. sometimes the timeline of the beat played out. You know what I'm saying? So rather than just storing it and keeping it on my hard drive, I just put it out there. And every new year that that beat from a long time ago has a new identity, you know, right. a new era here and they'll put a new cadence on it right. and then do whatever. So if, if people just want to, you know, write material and, and you can use the beats too, you know what I'm saying? All you yeah. have to do is just, you know, do the, the licensing and publishing correctly. And those beats is out there for the picking and you don't right. have to, you know, you don't have to pay for them. Like, Back in the day when people had to pay forty, fifty thousand a track. Right. You know, I just right. got them out there for the, you know, the enthusiasts, the people that really wanna, you know, get their writing skills up. Not just right. writing a story, but knowing how to write rhymes. Right. You know, it's pretty much like a training for training for writing combative competitive rhyming. You right. Know? So it's it's just not all for dancing or, or lubby dubby type songs mm -hmm. they're really competitive songs that's the kind of music i make is really competitive music you know so that's what i've been working on man and um i've been right. working with you said jail felony we got the jail felony uh two records out uh hood hood invasion don't get it wow and uh t um in the trenches so i've been working with uh jail felony uh-huh um i got i've been working with a lot of people man we just we just letting our product become valuable rather mm -hmm. than just trying to shoot your music out there and nobody listening because at the end of the day you know we we will get to a part where it's going to be hip-hop contemporary right you know to where your age has to be appropriate to the music that you're doing a lot of the rappers could are falling off because they're trying to keep up with something they did years ago rather than making a new plateau for them in the future. 
And that's what we're doing now is making music that's age appropriate for my age group. You know what I'm saying? I love right. the kids. I love the new music. I love it all, but they don't say what I talk about. Right. They don't do what I do. You know, so the music that I do is pretty much age appropriate for the people that lived in my timeline or less, you know, more or less still live like that. You know, I right. got a six fold or maybe, you know, got a phantom or a wraith or whatever, you know, whatever, whatever is the hood car of the time you, you can still play my music in any genre of hoodism. Right. You can call that a word. Right. <laughs> hoodism. So, so. <laughs> So who do you listen to now today? I mean, music has changed so much, Jinx, from when we were making our when we were making our albums and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And you got a whole bunch of brand new artists now today, man, that's tearing up the airwaves. Well, man. well, like I said, so, a lot of the artists I'm not into them because I'm not into what they do. You know, and and and. You can like a rapper, uh -huh. but if you're not into what he into, it's pretty hard to like a rapper when you're not into him. Like, you right. think he's a weirdo. Right. And then you like, ah, uh, I'm going to try to get over he's a weirdo and like his music, you know? So right. when, when, when I like a rapper, you know, it's pretty much he just got to be, uh, you know... I, I just like raw rap, you so, know? I so, like the raw rap. So who do you like? I like raw rap. Anybody that 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 stays true to themselves, and I listen to a lot of the old joints to try to rebuild and remember the passion we had doing those songs, you know. And right. um, you know, I listen. I go back to uh, to um, I was listening to it the other day. Uh, um, Grand Pooba. Grand Pooba. Yo, right. Mad Chow goes out ceremony. to Pooba. <laughs> Masters of Ceremony. Wow, like, like, the Masters of Ceremony. And, and, and Whoa, that's going, classic. Going that's back classic. to that and going back to the reason, like, and hearing the conviction in, in, in Melly Mel voice. The child is born with no state of mind, and, and you hear the you hear the music in his voice. So wow. I go back and hear the passion in the people's voice and try to translate at that into words today to help rap rappers make their music have more punch to it, have right. more reason to it, have it has more to it. It's right. not just talking about yourself. You have to speak for other people. You know what I'm saying? Like Public Enemy spoke for the people. It wasn't like Chuck D was just speaking for himself. He was speaking for a cause that that, you know, needed to be spoke on, you know. Right. And uh that's why with the new rappers today, I think they just need to, you know, more or less get with a cause than making raps about themselves. Cause I don't understand that. Like some of them, I don't, I don't get it. And, I, and you know, they slang is different, which they should, they rap should evolve. It should. You right. Know? But I still like the music that comes from my age group, you know, right. And I want to put that energy in the, the guys out there, the females out there. You're only as old as you think you are. Right. And if, if you don't think you got it, you don't got the spirit, you don't have the energy to to to, to say the rhymes, then tap right. out. Right. It ain't for you, you know. But right. it, but no matter how old you get, rap always has a platform for you. That's you right. Know what I'm that's and right. That, and that's going to be the future. I'm gonna speak that into the future, just like the country music. Country music, you got Kenny Loggins and, and Garth Brooks and all these guys that can grow old in their situation. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, rap music is the only one you die at 40. Technically, you know, you, you can't do it. But now I, I believe that with me pushing this energy out is the rappers that are my age and older will not try to make young music. They'll make music that's age appropriate for them. And then, then they'll find a new love in in rap music. Like right now, people our age should be like, my daughter is getting married. You know, like Wow. You know, my my uh, you know, my son just had a baby, you know. Right. I'm a grandfather now. Like it's right. a whole bunch of music that needs to be touched on that rap music needs to do. And I believe that. As soon as we adapt to it as adults, meaning the older school, we play ourselves. I mean, we play doing ourselves in our own life. I think we got we got we got we we got a, a lane to stand in. 
right. rather than right. competing with the, the young guys. The young guys got a lot of energy. They're going to have to go into a situation where they get older. Right. We're going to leave a place for them to be able to go right. because there's no place for us to go right now. They say you're supposed to not rap no more after 40. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, whoever said that, I, they need to get punched in their face. But I'm, I, I, I didn't make it up. Yeah. But you, 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 right, you, right, you right, right, right. through it. But I you know remember. But I remember back in the days, man. You know what I'm saying? When rap first started, mm -hmm. and I remember how everybody was saying that it wasn't gonna last. Right. Remember that, James? Right, right, right. And then how they said they gave that, it ten years. And, 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 yeah, they gave it a ten year span, and they said after ten years. It's going to fade out. Right. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. After 10 years, it got even stronger right. to where commerce, people that were making commercials started putting raps in their commercials. You know what right. I'm saying? And once people started doing that jinx, I knew for a fact rap was here to stay forever. There's a time limit on everything. Right. But rap music is something different. Right. You know. Because right. I was just speaking to one of my guys on, on the phone. And one thing I can say, I'm happy I'm a part of hip hop. Now. It, what you are. You definitely are. Now, when you look at a Stevie Wonder. Right. And what he has provided for music. Right. He didn't make that. He didn't make what he did. He did what he did good. We made what we did. I'm a part of the movement of rap music like rap music didn't happen then you know but when you when you say that he didn't make what he did what right. do you mean by that because see i got a lot of people watching us man, right. and they want to know exactly what you mean by that what i'm I saying know is what you mean the by music that. was already there before him right got you and rap wasn't there before me Right. So I grew into rap. I'm a part of the rap struggle. Right. I'm, I'm a part of rap music. He is a legend at being in the, in the classified where he's at, but right. he didn't make it up. Right. He didn't make it up. Right. 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 I'm he not taking made, nothing from Steve. He just, he just enhanced what it was and made right. it what it is, man. Right. And and, and, and just like with you and, and Chuck and, and everybody, we're a part of a movement that we're going to be just as popular or as famous as Stevie Wonder, because that was his genre. Right. But our genre is hip hop, and I'm glad that I'm a part of it. No doubt. Like, you know. No doubt. For the rest of my life, you know. No doubt. And, and the effort that I gave to it, you mm -hmm. know, who, who would have thought that, you know, um, somebody would uh, like my music, you know? Right. That was, we was always scared of that. Like, people right. just not liking it at all. I remember too, man, when I first started coming down to your house in 2003, <laughs> I mean, you had tons and tons of music that you created. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that was never heard of. Right. You know what I'm saying? What did you ever do with all of that music? Most of the things, you know, Flav, you're very, you're very uh, talented. You can play a bunch of music, I mean, a bunch of instruments and stuff. Yes. And people don't know that, but he can. And right. most of the songs are pieces of thoughts. Like, okay. I, I can make a song and then the bridge, I can use it 10 years from now. So right. most of the songs, they are like, like, like blueprints for other pieces. Like, so some songs become other songs. Right. When, 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 you know, it, it, it I just made it just like how you, you know, when you write rhymes, you, mm -hmm. you, you don't have to write a whole rhyme. You can just write it on a little piece of paper or, or just remember that four bar turnaround. Right. So right. when, when, when people ask me, you know, oh, Jinx, you want to work on some music? I can go anywhere. Cause I got I got junk boxes of pieces of I call them guts. I okay. got guts, a bunch of guts, a bunch of guts, a bunch of guts. Yeah, they're 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 good enough to work on, but not good enough to find a home yet. You know? Right. So it's a bunch of like oh what about this? What about this? It's like me and you. Um, I threw in one disc and um, that's when you came into the studio. Uh, uh, when you had to leave, when you discussed this with Cube, 
um, when you came in the studio, that was a beat out of the SB 1200, and I just threw it on. And uh, I yeah. think it was a Stevie Wonder sample, if I'm not mistaken. Uh huh. <laughs> That's gonna kick me in the ass. Uh, yeah, I, I almost know. Shout it probably... out goes out to Sir Stevie. <laughs> That's right, Stevie Wonder. I, I, I did take some Stevie. Yeah, shit. we got to holler at my boy Stevie. But uh, you out. came in I there. I love and, you, Stevie. You came in there and did that with one take because you had to catch a flight <laughs> or something, and you was in and out of the studio. <laughs> so fast i swear to god but yeah uh, i was, was really really thing. clever with it too man right, i was right, really right, really clever right. with it the one thing that i can say when i delivered i delivered well oh man you a character and i man. never delivered so, no bullshit and i never nah, left you nah, some bullshit that nah, i delivered nah. we didn't even we didn't never. even do it again we was like that's good enough i what chuck was there and he was like that's good i guess he know you and he was yeah. like nah nah we're, we're, we're not finna go back over that we're not because you know when you do some freestyle and then you try to go back and do it over it can become yeah. stale but sometimes you, yeah. the first time you do it right. is your best time well you're a professional man you yeah know? You, you 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 know how to turn it on man and you've been turning it on for a long time i'm proud of you Flay. thank man. you brother thank and you and you're man. a you're an inspiration to a lot of the people that go through things in life and we go through transitions of life you know we were talking about you know the drinking and the um the you know other things that right. we have grew out of you know we are right. taking different paths and you're definitely the inspiration to people that you can change and you can le you can let it go yes and you can yeah you know you can do whatever you want to i mean skies is the limit right. to whatever you want to do you know what i'm cuz we we used to and look at you Flav, like uh oh is this going to be the day <laughs> Is this going to be the day? Because you was going hard, <laughs> boy. You, 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 was, you, 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 was, I don't want to say no names. Yes. You was going like young rapper hard. Yes. Like, you know how yes. these young rappers like, ah, oh, these new mugshot. Right. Yo, you right. was mug, you was mugshot, flavor mugshot. That yeah. Was like, yeah. I was like, oh man, don't let nothing happen to him. But, you know, your spirit and uh, they, they, yeah, you're here, man, and you made it through it, man. Yeah, God is I good. I was always looking for you, man. God is good, man. You know what I'm saying? Because let yes. me tell you something, man. Not only me, but you're here too as well. Right. You know what I'm saying? To be able to sit around and talk about this, man. You know what I'm right. saying? I mean, you know, things that really made me, you know, wanted to straighten my life out a little bit. Because I, I really want to be here for some, for some years to come. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, we done lost people, man. You know what I'm saying? Like... Like my boy Shock G from Digital Underground, you know, yeah, that's the big homie. Shock, you know what the I'm saying? The big homie, my Shock. Boy, my boy Big Debo, you know, mm -hmm. Big Zeus, right. you know who I miss so much, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we lost my boy Rapper Ecstasy from Houdini, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Rapper X, you know what I'm saying? We lost my man Biz Markey, right. you know what I'm saying? Mad Shout goes out to Biz, rest in peace, Biz, you know what I'm saying? We even lost my man DMX. Right. You know, which was a big loss too. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, DMX. Mad <laughs> Chow goes out to the DMX family and everything. You know what I mean? Right. So I was saying to myself, listen, man, and we even lost my man Big um, Black Rob. You right. know what I'm saying? And there's a whole bunch of others, man. Well, you know Rest what? in peace, Black Rob. And also a whole bunch of others that we done lost. And you know what I said? I don't want to be in that number, man. I don't want to be in those numbers, Jinx. Well, you know, you know what, what Flav? I think so, at the end of the day... I had to, I had to straighten my shit out, bro. We never thought the party was going to end. Like, in my world, right? the party never ends. You know, but the party has to come to an end. At some point. At some point. At some point. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? The party. For real. I mean, you party a different kind of way. Right. You know? Right. But at the end of the day, uh, I thought it was never going to end. I mean, it was nonstop. It was it, full supply of anything. Right. You know? And right. when you have a full supply of anything, how do you know when you're overindulging in what you like to do you know right I mean, when do you tell yourself to stop right like, right but when we got older that's what uh what we learned man and i swear that's right, i Jakes. know i know it's getting a little a little tear jerker year around here but this is my man i love him 
and uh, everybody has problems and we get past those problems and I, I we've been around each other for years through yes. the ups and the downs yes and uh he he made it through it man you know and i i made it through you know some of the crazy stuff that i uh you know yes my my my, my crazy life you know but, right uh, right it's but we all had a crazy here. life at some point man right. you know what i'm saying but after a while like you say the older you get the more you learn and right. the more you grow out of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what happened with me. You right. know what I'm saying? I mean, right. you know, I, I kinda I had to I had to I had to grow out of it. I had to grow out of it, man. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I'm glad that I was able to I'm glad I went through everything that I went through and I'm glad I survived it because now today I could teach about it. And that's why I say you're yeah, inspiration. I made you, some major mistakes you came out the life. other end of it, man. Yeah, you know, because back when you know you 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 a couple of lids older than me, because we was in New York. I think I was, you know, I think I was nineteen when, uh -huh. when we did America's Most. And wow, the way the way people partied in New York was 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 a lot faster yeah. than, than we thought. Like we got right. there. And, you know, we we thinking, you know, just some beer and some weed, you know. But from New York, y'all, y'all, y'all was uh open to more shit. Right. So y'all was like rock star shit. Like we didn't make it to when we got to New York, mm -hmm. we wasn't rock star. Y'all was rock star. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like the level right. you was on is rock star. But nobody would tell you to get off that ride. Nobody right. ever tell you. They, everybody would want you to keep entertaining them. You know, until you say, man, I got a charge for this entertainment and I am not going to do this for free. And then that what makes you stop doing all the crazy stuff to entertain other people is when you really just start caring about yourself. I mean, like, I got to get paid to act that way. And if you right. won't act that way, you got to get paid a lot because you're going to die really fast. Right. If, if you live that, if you live in, if you having that much fun every day, you're going to die. Right. I don't care That's what the right. fuck you're doing, and you're gonna die. <laughs> you're gonna die sooner than you were supposed to. Right. Anything that's fun to do can definitely give you a tombstone. So, right. As we get older, and and like like um, we were just saying, uh, getting older with the adult contemporary hip hop, mm -hmm. you know, mental conditions and so you know different situations that we can speak on at being older. And, and put it in a cool song mm -hmm. that that we can groove to and understand, right? You know, because that's that's you know, mental illness is definitely you know one of the parts that they fuel hip hop with, assuming that they're entertaining, but there's just something wrong with them, and then, you right. know, people will, they laughing at you, not with you, right? You know, and so that's everybody the music we need just to, to work let y'all know, yeah, that's on. right. I got my boy Sir Jinx in the building. They want to get you know deep on you guys. I, they probably up. eating and, popcorn sleep. And just to let y'all know, <laughs> if y'all don't know who this man is, you know what I'm saying? Back in the days when the legendary Ice Cube went solo, this was his DJ right here. His number yeah. one DJ, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and not only that, but 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 do you do you miss? Being out on the road and, and performing with Cube? Oh, man. Me and Cube had a beautiful situation. Mm -hmm. And as you get older, it's, you know, you, you want to do different things. Right. So everything that I do has a memory to it. Right. Like, uh, I had you. I, it's funny. It's, it, man, this is crazy. And uh, watch this. This is crazy. And I just put it up. And, um. Of 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 um, certain things are meant for certain things, right? And um, I appreciate the energy that that has because it can compete with other things, right? And I know if we rocking somewhere else, right? If we're not rocking somewhere else, yeah. I can com use those days to, you know, perfect rocking because you know we were rocking arenas and stuff like that, yes. But uh, here you go, here you go, right here. Wow. Hey, yo, man, let me tell you something, man. Here you go. Wow. That's, that's you at the exhibit. Wow. Exhibit, man. The exhibit, what you see is what you get video. Wow. 
now. I got to show you all this. I got to show you all this. Yo, can we see this little brother? Yeah? Yo, come on, man. What That's myself. That's Exhibit. That's Rico, I think. And Rico? Mm-hmm. Tash. Wow. This is big. That's big right there. That's called that's legendary right there, y'all. Right. You know what I'm saying? Word so up. so to finish what you were saying, well to finish what I was saying, what you had asked, everything is, is is a good experience. Right. You know, so if 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 the cube situation didn't stop, then the exhibit situation wouldn't have started. You know what I'm saying? And okay. Everything has its timeline. And um, you know, so you, you started working with Exhibit after Q after you start was um. Well, I worked work with, with a Q. lot of people, but um, opening some doors, some doors close and some doors open. You know, right? So where where uh, I start working with uh, Exhibit, you know, I start working with Mitchie Slick. You know, you yeah, with Mitchie, and a whole bunch of people that I work with. You know, but um, like I said, when one door closes, another one opens. And it wasn't like that, it, you know, because Cube was is a solo artist. It yeah. wasn't like Ice Cube and Sir Jinx, you know what I'm saying? So right. we always knew that I was going to do music. Right, know? right, right. The DJ, the, the part of the DJ was starting to be less and less and less as we went further and further out. Like, right. So for me to DJ, I was more, it, I was, I, I was, I could be utilized being a producer uh -huh. being at home. Right. So when we was out doing it, I just think that I wanted to, uh, you know, I got the juice out of the show. Right. I went to the highest of the show. You know, we remember the Apollo. Yeah, we did the Apollo. I seen the top of the you know the mountaintop, <laughs> and then now I want to produce more music. Now technology is changing. Now yeah. you know a bunch of new you know devices and different stuff is out, and I'm on the road, and I, I need I need to work on it. You know, my homeboys is at the house saying yeah. they just got the you know a Kai one thousand, a Kai one million, and I'm on the road like ah, so you know some things you. Know, just like shooting a movie, it all comes yeah. to an end, but we get to watch it forever. You know. Do you get to still talk to Cube every now and then? Yeah, we we, I mean, we talk as much as anybody that I have worked with. I yeah, mean, we, it, it it doesn't leave on a on a bad note. You know, all right. relationships don't end bad. They right. just might end with a, a good, you know, a misunderstanding becoming understood. You know. So y'all still have a good relationship today. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, we deal with it how we deal with it. it we we grown men, right, so it's, right. it's not like you know if, if if we don't have dinner with each other, our life is going to end. You know, right. his, he he does what he does, and um, a lot of rappers that I work with, um, you know, they go on and and, right. and um, live their life. They got families, and right. you know, they adopt more people into their their crew. And right. uh, it gives more work for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to see a, a, a situation that I was in keep going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and you know, I can kind of like pick up my bag, like you know, like a David Banner, Incredible Hawk, and 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 go on to the next episode. Right. You know? And well, I'm gonna tell I'm you like. like this, man. I mean, I always love seeing you and Q work together. You know right. what I'm saying? And it was always a blessing to be with y'all as y'all work together. Will we ever get to see that again one day? Would you and Q ever? I don't know. Because I would love, I would, I would, I, I would love for one day to see you and Q together again on stage, and you backing him up, man. I you mean, know, who knows? Going back to originality, because you was the. You know, I, I never say, DJ, I never bro. say never. But you at know, the end of the match day, match out goes out to you, Cube. I love <laughs> you, my brother. But but like I was saying, I mean, we we did that already. You know, so if there was wow. something to do new and we, we could figure out something that could work, you know, I'm right. always open to be no to being creative, but I just don't want to create, the, recreate the past. Right. I don't right. want to compete with it. We right. already didn't knock them out in the first round, first everything. Your damn show sure did. You know, we, we broke records. You know, Cube, damn record, sure did. Cube is the first rapper to go 200 and... For R and B and be uh, Billboard history, 
Wow. I, got, I got the billboard that said Ice Cube was the first one that went to top 200 and top R&B and top rap all right. across the board. Right. So, you know, that, that was a good day. You know, when you get traded to another team, you right. know, that, that team might be good, the team might not be bad, but it's always a, a learning experience, you know. Right, right, right. And I, I always, I love it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't change none of it because attitude and passion makes good music. You That's know? right. So, and whenever you're happy or you're sad, you know, it, it makes good music. So when we, we when we're together, we make good music because this is we came from, you know, the Dr. Dre College of making music. So right. We already know the format. So it's like why why kind of tamper with that when you know you can do something else? You know what I'm saying? Let's yeah. do something big. Let's do something you know, that's unexpected. You know, the going back in the studio, working on a new, new, new album, it's a good idea. But but in today's time, people don't even drop albums. They drop the EPs and two or three songs or whatever. Right. But, um, you know, the, the, my, 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 I'm always open, man. I love music, no man. I love music. I just hate the business part. You know, yeah. the music business. I love music. The business part's terrible. You know, it'll make you not love music. It'll hurt you. You yeah, well, I'm gonna tell you, man, because I had I, I had Cube in here, you know. You know, I had to bring you up, Cube, and let me yeah. tell you something, man. One thing that I could say that brother loves you, man, and he has high nothing but high respect for you and your family, bro. Yes, man, you know I saw I'm it, saying? man. I, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You know, very, I mean, very, Cube, very Cube creative is a scholar, person. man. Cube, He's a, Cube is a scholar with the big dollar. He's very, very creative, man. <laughs> I mean. uh the kind of person you want to be yeah. lost in the forest with. Yeah, no doubt. You know? No doubt. Hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> if I get lost in the forest <laughs> and y'all see me getting ready to fight a bear, fight, fight, fight a bear mm -hmm. if anything, what I really think, don't come and help me out. I think y'all better go help the bear out. <laughs> I'm about to break it down. Bro. About to break a bear down, bro. You know right. what I'm saying? The I got something night. else. I got something else I want to show. Something else. All right. Uh, uh, you got something, something else. else. Right. And this right. is show you how long I've been down with PE. Okay. I'm going to show you. Okay. All right. Uh-oh. Uh oh, pull it out. Brrr, drum roll, please. Brrr. Oh, get out of here, man. Wow. The original <laughs> one. The one from day one. Can you see this? Wow. Day one medallions. Wow! Show that camera <laughs> right there too, man. Y'all, y'all see that little brother? You see that? How many y'all the real one? Is it sign? I don't know. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yo, let me tell you something, man. That this is like a baseball. Right? Yo, let me tell you something. That's classic. That's classic public enemy right yeah, there, I, man. I, I can rock it with the change. That's <laughs> probably yo. That's classic public enemy right there. And not only that. <laughs> But let me teach you something, man. Let me t tell you a little something that uh, check it out. That's a real deal. Yup, this is the real deal. Hey, yo, Chuck, remember these? <laughs> Pat, Pat <laughs> remember these? And remember when we did our fight the fight the power video? When we did our fight the power video, man, and we did the the, the gold commercial, and everybody was throwing the gold. In the garbage and putting these on, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we did that with the X Clan, right? That that piece we did it with the X Clan. Yo, this piece right here is very, very. Hey, original. let me ask. You, let me ask a question that everybody has been in my head. I can ask you: Is that E Love? This is E Love. Okay. In the middle of this target. Okay. Now, that also, is e -Love. just to let you guys, and I can't unsee it, so just, I had to hear it from you first. Just to let you guys know, that's e love. This right here was made by my boy Billy Dua. Match out goes out to my boy Billy Dua down in, in Virginia. That's right, Richmond, Virginia. My boy Billy, Billy, boom, 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 bing, wah. Yeah, that's why I be shouting out at the end of the Terror Dome. Yeah. 
Oh, you know for what real? I'm saying? Yeah, that's Billy Dua. Uh, My man Billy. Boom, 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 bing. Wow. Well, I, I had to say that. Billy Dua made these. You know what I'm right. saying? Word up, man. Match out goes out to my boy Billy. You know what I'm saying? Word up on it. Yo, and you know where else where me and you was at? And I got is, pictures. I show them to you next time I come over here. That's original. You yeah. remember I was at 911's a joke video too. You did come in my video. I was I was in the audience. I was there. I was there the whole day in the snow. It was freezing. Wow, that's <laughs> crazy. I still and, got pictures and, from and, it. And, and I have yeah. my boy rest in peace. Jam Master J. Right. I miss Jay too, man. You Where had your up, man? nephew but with you. You had your yep, big nephew. Yep, yep. I had Jam Master Jay. No, not in my Jam studio. Master Jay. My it. big nephew, Ronald. Right, right, right. 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 Well, who they call Ron Do. You know what I'm saying? Word uh -huh. up. My nephew, Ronald. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, My boy, the foot doctor. My man, the foot doctor. You know what I'm saying? Samuel Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson was in my 911 is a joke video, and that's what helped launch him over the bar. Yes, yeah, I remember that's seeing right. him there. That out goes out to you too, Samuel L. Jackson. I can't wait to get you in. Here. Hey, I was I was there when well, when, was when the dudes was freezing on the on the uh, on the sidewalk. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Man, yeah. I was there. I think I got it on here. If, uh, but go ahead, keep going. I'll, yeah, I'll show it to you. yeah, man, come on, Jinx, you bringing it back right now. And I had the afros in my video, right? And plus, I have my two children, my my two oldest, yeah, Shanique, your daughter, Shanique and Man was with right. me that day, and I had them sitting on my lap. You can see them in the video, right? I oh, was sitting man. with a uh, young black teenager. Hey, yo, Mad Child goes out to my boy Mel King, Mel King, the Foot Doctor. Yes, that's who was on stage on, on a stage with me and Jam Master J and the kids. And oh all of yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah, my boy, yeah. Mel at King. the church. Yes, at the church. That's right, right. man. Jinx, you bringing it back? Man, like, I'll have to show it to you next time. I go, but I got. It's all hey, good. I got a beautiful picture of you coming right by. Yeah, and you know how the lens flare happens, and yes. you're in the middle of the lens flare in the casket. You remember when they was carrying you out the, in the casket? Right. Yeah, I got pictures of that too, man. I've been wow. everywhere. Wow, yo, please send me some <laughs> of that stuff. I'm gonna definitely bro. send them to you, bro. You got some original. Oh my God, man. Boo. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so let me ask you this. Yeah, yeah, you got to sign the back of it. Okay, I'm going to sign the back of it. I'm you gonna, got a lot signing, of signing I'm, to I'm, do. I'm going to sign all your you stuff. You got a lot of signing to I'm do. I'm going to sign all your stuff, man. Word up, man. Yeah. Oh, yo, and did I shout out E Love? I got to shout you out, yeah, E Love. Because I know you're going to be seeing this. You know your boy got to shout you out again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I had him on my podcast, uh -huh. too. He's a cool cat. Yes, I did a podcast with E Love. It was a great podcast, right. too, you know. So But I, I just the people that watch for Sir Jinx, excuse me. The people that watch for Sir Jinx, they know that I give them real facts, like fun right. facts. And I had knew that for a long time, but if y'all don't know, you know now. I'm sure everybody that's on here do know, but if you uh -huh. don't know, that's goddamn E Love. That, that's E Love. That's amazing. So let me that's ask you amazing. this. So, what are you doing now? What's what's coming up for Sir Jinx? What do you got going on in the works that we can expect? You I'm know? working with. Um, I'm doing. I'm working on some um, some albums uh -huh. um, that I'm putting together. Uh, me and brother Jay is working on an album together. Just me and him. Okay. Just like back and forth. Just like. Just me and him in the studio. Yeah, and um, I'm working with him, and uh, I, sh I should have wrote it down, but I I'm just working, man. I just got my studio back up. You know what I'm saying? I I've been listening to some new music, listening to uh, some new ideas, and right. And uh, I, I believe in this adult contemporary hip hop. I believe it. I what believe do you think happen. about rap music today? I love it. I love it, man. I. I Rap rap music is a young man's sport to get in it, mm -hmm. but an old man's sport to win it. Okay. So you have to go through being a kid and going through growing up. Hip hop is like a college. You know, you can grow up in hip hop. Mm -hmm. And you can grow with your fans. You right. know, I was blessed to grow with my fans. Right. So when the when the, the young rappers 
are grown with the fans, you know, like the Amigos, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, like Kendrick Lamar and stuff right. like that. Right. You know, I, I, you know, I, I call this Lamborghini doors. I, I, hey, I ain't got nothing to say. Let them take the wheel. Right, you know? right, you know, right. Like, hey, 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 you know, and they, and they they're doing really good at it. Yes. So I'm not a person that that mastered the tool. I mastered the craft. So when people get good at stuff, I let other people get good at it, whatever right. they're going to be good at because it's going to change. Anybody can get good at the tool, but then when somebody else come around, they're better with the craft, and now you're hammering with a a, a rock, and now they got an electric drum, you know, an electric, electric uh, nail gun. Right. You know, it, rap has evolved, and I, I love it, and it makes it hard on other people. When when soon as new rappers come, they make it hard on whack rappers, and and that's what I like is when a rapper is bashful to say his whack ass raps because he know they whack, right? And he know he didn't try, right? So a lot of rappers that are out now, I do like them. I like where they're talking about. I know they talk about the mumble rap, but that's theirs. Let them have theirs. At least it became a name. You know, a lot of people been rapping don't even know their name. But if the mumble rappers, if that's what they doing, I love it. If they like it, I love it. No I love doubt. rap music. I feel like I'm a parent. And it's uh, a lot know, of them are my sons. I'm going to tell you something, man. I'm going to ask you a question. Cheers. And and I'm quite sure this that... This is juice. I'm quite sure that other people will want to know. Yes. Like, I want to know. Shoot. Jinx. Shoot. All this time, where have you been? What do you mean? Where, I been? where you been, man? Chilling, I mean, man. I'm a behind the scenes, man. Right. I'm blessed that you... <laughs> I love the answer, first will, of all, well, chilling. <laughs> you will want a behind the scenes guy. Like, yeah. I'm not the in front of the camera dude. I'm the dude behind the scenes. I made connections happen. I made right. people... like. I, I'm always working on somebody or working on something. And right. You you can't just find a rapper in today's time. You know what right. I'm saying? You got to find a businessman that you can develop. Right. You know? So a lot of the people that you might not know are still developing businessmen, and mm-hmm. they they, they it's, it's, it just goes further. So mm-hmm. I just been helping people set up their business and. Not like a like not like a manager or nothing. Just like the steps that you need to have all your outlets working for each other. Your Instagram, your your right. your, 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 your Facebook, whatever outlet you have, you should be able to push one button and send all the stuff you need to the outlets. And a lot of people our age don't really see the importance of doing that. So sometimes I, I just take some of the homies to the side and show them the computer, go buy a Mac, and they'll figure it out, and then they they just doing their thing. So <laughs> I feel like I move to the more administrative side of music, that I'm always I'm always doing something with music all my life. Right. Even if I'm not doing it, I'm critiquing a new album. I'm still working. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? So check this out. Is, is is there anything that you would want the world to know about Sir Jinx, the man, the individual? You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? You know. I'm just glad that, that, that they that put it out there, Jinx. I'm just put glad that y'all want a dude that's behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? That says a lot to the people that don't want to be in the front that y'all still give notoriety to on just being who you are, like who I am, you know? I, I didn't want to be way up. I didn't want to be in front of the you know, in front of the microphone like that. I wow. always wanted to do music. I always had a passion for music. And and some people feel like you got to do all, everybody's job. You got to wear many hats to be in the game. But no, um, I just love the music, man. And and for you to, and, and I always say this, there's a whole bunch of producers. Right. Why me? Like, I, I, I don't even look for it. I don't even promote myself. Right. I, I don't do none of that. My music is 30 years old, but it still had an impact. And that I'm, that's, that's all I care about. Like, all you need is one. One hit. That's all you need. And you're going to be remembered for the rest of your life. That's right. So I already did my one hit. I already did it. So 
Now I just want the experience for somebody that doesn't have a hit to right. experience that I got a hit. And and that's an experience that you can't buy that. You that's can't buy right. that feeling when somebody else is playing your your song in the car right. next to you. Like you can't right. pay for that. Yes, right. you can. But you get what you can't pay for the feeling when back in the day when I was driving and I'm, you know, I'm in my car, you know, in the bins and whatever. And then a low rider, or, you know, cutlass or something pull up playing cube and look at me crazy. And I say, what's up? And he'd be like, what is up? Are you playing my song? He said, that's my song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Have, have a good day. I'm, I'm trying to say, yeah, homie, that's my song. He's like, no, that's my song. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And that just make you feel a certain way that he yeah. took, he gangstered me for my song in this crosswalk. <laughs> what yeah. I'm going to say, nah, you don't know what you're talking about? <laughs> like, like yeah. I don't know. You can have it. Right. Ooh, so that's just a feeling that I love for other people to feel is the beginning feeling. And you were around me. In my beginning, yes, and uh, I, I'm sure when y'all saw me, y'all was like, "Who the fuck is this? Like, why is he talking?" <laughs> because you, because you know, Cube. I never to, thought that. But, maybe they did. Well, but, well, because you wasn't around, yeah, like yes. every day with them, right? Like so, with, 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 right. With but Eric. when you said y'all, yes, that included me. Yeah, yeah, y'all. So I had to exclude myself out of that number and let you talk about them, not nah, me. Y'all was y'all. You was all, hey, I never wondered nah, about I, you. I wanted or to nothing. battle. No, I wanted to battle. I wanted to battle PE so bad. I wanted to battle anybody that touched any drum machine that y'all dealt with. So right. when I came there, I came there looking like looking looking for y'all niggas. Like so, yeah. I'm sitting there with a smug on my face, like looking like this West Coast. It was cracking. Right. So, but then Eric Sandler, Eric Sandler, Eric Sandler, Eric Sandler, like, yo, bro, right. calm, calm your ass down. And I'm like, I don't like that beat. Ah, Vietnam. I don't like that beat. And Bad he took me, Vietnam. him and Rob, and they took me to the side and say, we need your ears. We got Cube's eyes, but we need your ears. We need you. And at first, they wasn't accepting what I was saying. It was like, hey, I think y'all, I, I, I think, uh. Uh -huh. Never mind. And then I started getting that. So then I started getting mad that it was like, okay, but put that back in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, okay. All right. So one night, everybody left. Uh -huh. And I stayed in the studio. I, I, I slept in there. And the first song I did to make them like me is uh, Who's the Mac? Because Who's the Mac was a PE song. But then overnight, I had people coming in. They, they didn't, you know, I don't know how PE got down, but I, I had um, live music, you know, live bass players coming in, people right. coming in to do stuff. So when I changed the Who's the Mac track to Who's the Mac, I put the, the Stevie, one, I mean, the, um, the Marvin Gaye in it. Da, 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 da. And then Son of Berserk. Son of Berserk was always at the studio with me. So, right, right. My man, Son of Berserk. Yo, T.A. <laughs> so, That's and, the guy uh, that started me wearing clocks. A lot of people thought it was DJ Pooh on the beginning of Who's the Man? DJ Pooh. Right? Wow. But it, it was Son of Berserk. The one he's motherfuckers is different. So when they right. came back in the studio the next day and we sleep out there at Green Street on them couches inside, outside and they yeah. played the song, they they everybody was cool with me then. They was like, oh, he he know what he doing. Because I couldn't work in the studio with Hank and, 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 and Keith because they already had a position. Right. So I couldn't be just reaching over the knobs and changing their shit. So I had to, they had to disappear in order for me to show that I knew how to work the board and I knew how to thing. And we brought the SP 1200 in right. and we brought the stuff that I needed. And then after that was smooth selling, but I, I, I wanted to battle public enemy. And wow. Then, that's, was, that's deep. I that's mean, in, in the hip, deep, in, in hip hop, with hip hop, I, cause West coast wasn't give, they wasn't giving us no thing. So when I went to New York, I went to New York, like hip hop, like this is how you supposed to treat another hip hop dude. 
You supposed to you're not supposed to be friendly with him. You supposed to be, you know, that's how we that's how I thought it was. Right. Until Eric Sandler was like, calm your ass down before you fuck up the vibe in the studio. Yeah, yeah, because right. we wasn't on that shit. Yeah, y'all wasn't on that at all. Yeah, we was on some unity shit, <laughs> right, making right, friends right. shit. We wasn't right, on right, no right. battle shit. Right, right, right. You know right, what I'm right. saying? And the whole nine. I mean, you know, us, we was on some come together right now right right but why would why shit. wouldn't a young 19 year old feel that fire you know feel like right. oh i can take on the world like i, I can i who like because we, we you know we we're supposed to deal with sam sever so with the sam sever situation getting kicked out of the thing now i'm, I'm looking around like a hungry like orangutan like who else who who gonna step into this place because drake couldn't step into it sam sever left so it was a big ass gaping hole so he's like oh public enemy and i'm like i don't care Whoever, 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 whoever. I go at anybody, whoever, whoever. So he right. was like, all right, let's go to New York. So I went to New York to be like the the, the bad cop. Okay. Like the, Okay. Mm-mm. And, that, and then not say nothing. Right. And then everybody feel weird that me and Q got an eye contact game that's fucking with them. But we we didn't actually. Um, he, 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 he know when he like a beat. But the way Public Enemy, the way you guys did beats, y'all would have a beat. And then make the beat, the bottom beat, and then you rap to it, and then y'all change the beat after that. And yeah, then y'all put or, or we'll the end up putting shit on top of right, it. Right, right, right. So as the, as the record goes along, right. Right. Yeah. But Cube not knowing that, and we not knowing that, working with Dre, Dre starts out with the track you're gonna use. So in right. public, you know, when we was working with the bomb squad, y'all could do 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 and then be like boo. Mm-hmm. And just take that out, but you have the flow to the uh, the rap, which is actually genius. Me and uh, Aunt Banks talks talks about redoing the song after the vocals, and you guys produced the song after the vocals. Right. But we were listening to the beat before that and didn't know the process. Uh-huh. And it was like doop 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 doop. He was like, I don't know if we like that beat. You know what I'm saying? But right. we didn't know that. <laughs> and Eric Saller does what he does. Uh-huh. And then we uh-huh. saw the magic there because we was getting ready to leave. Right. We was like, oh, yo, we've been at, at uh, what was it? Uh, uh, what was it called in Long Island? 510? Yeah, 510 we South like, Franklin. We, we, been, we, was like, we been here a little too long. And then, so now <laughs> we coming into the studio a little bitter now. Like we ain't talking as much. Mike Tyson just got knocked out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like the studio was a fucked up place yeah. after Mike Tyson got knocked out, and everybody was all grim. We like, man, well, and it was cold as fuck because it was February, and um, and uh, where we gonna go to the studio? We went to the studio, but we. It was getting a little rocky uh, when we didn't know the process of how Public Enemy or uh, wow. well, Bomb Squad uh, produced. And that when we went to Green Street, all that shit changed. All that shit all changed. All that shit changed. And that's where all hell broke loose. Right, right, right. And right. the whole shit. But we didn't know. And, and, and not only did all hell break loose, but let me tell you something, man. I'll never forget this night at Green Street. When we came back from the club... And when we came back from the club, <laughs> you and Epitome got um, into a beef, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? In the whole nine. I came in there trying to break it up <laughs> to be the mediator and everything. Epitome snatched my keys. I had this big old stack of keys. Remember, Jinx? And he took my stack of keys and he threw all my keys at you, man. And he man. missed. Right. My keys just splattered all over the street, man. But uh, you and Epitome, y'all had it out that night, man. All right. hell was breaking loose that night, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? In the whole night. I, I forgot. What, 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 where was we coming from? The Red Parrot? We was coming from some club. Uh, we we were just hanging out. We, we, we was coming from some club. <laughs> yeah, we were just hanging out, coming from some club and... I just never forget that because right. that was my keys. That brother threw it. What, what you had the station wagon? You had the station wagon at this. I time? had the Subaru. Yes, <laughs> with, with the, the big system in it. With, with the, the big, big speaker in it. it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And the yeah. reason why I got that big speaker was because back in the days, me and DMC used to battle to see whose car would be the loudest. Right, right, and right. And I had went and got mine designed to blow DMC out because DMC had a 
big giant monster system in his car. You no, know? but me and Rob, Rob is my man. Yeah, yeah, Rob, I mean, come on, man. That, when we was kids. And, right, um, right, right. It, it was just a thing that night. I mean, at the end of the day, you and Rob ended up being all right. Y'all was always man. Right. And shit. It was just a little disagreement just at that one particular moment. But it wasn't, I mean, nothing, it's, it's, but it it's, wasn't it's, nothing really big. Y'all didn't really get into no <laughs> big fighting and all of that shit. No, nah, just probably the alcohol it was wore more, off. Maybe. Yes, and it was more the alcohol, too. It was the <laughs> a, 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 alcohol, <laughs> you know? But it was more like a disagreement thing. It wasn't even really a fight. Oh, uh, no. Because we wasn't really letting y'all fight. Nah. We wasn't letting y'all fight, man. I, I wasn't it, letting y'all fight. I just think it Even looked, though my keys was all over the street, but I, I was still looked, there breaking that shit than, up, bro. I, I think it looks bigger than what it was then. It, yeah, it, 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 I mean, yeah, it, it, but it's, but it was, was those out. days mm -hmm. that made us who we are now. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, testosterone and and uh, yes. people uh, <laughs> night, nighttime and testosterone is a terrible mix. <laughs> you know, so. I didn't see Sir Jinx, boy. <laughs> I didn't this see is a, my guy. I didn't see in a few nights, you know, yeah. turn turn different with testosterone and and uh and sometimes, you know, holding your ground um definitely makes people respect you. Right. And um and that there's a way to do it. You know, Rob is my man. I love Rob, you know, him and um Shamello, you know, recipe Shamello. God bless my boy Shamello, man. We, I miss Shamello, you know, man. When we when we was in New York, you know, Rest those, those was my team. They, they was my team. They they looked out for me. Even when I went back to New York, like maybe a few years ago, um, um, um Shamello always comes. You know, that 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 family, that PE family is still around me to this day. You know, I I talk to Rob all the time. Wow, that's right. dope. That's dope, man. Right. Up. Mad shout goes out to my boy Epitome, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So so check this out. Before we go. Yeah. Before we break out, Sir Jinx, because first of all, man, I mean, you don't know how big this is to me, bro, that you came here to my studio, man. And man, I call, I came here, soon as I... Sitting here talking with right. me, man, and blessing blessing the world with your presence, man. And Thank you, my brother. my studio with your presence. I feel I like mean, a star, man. I'm honor. behind the scenes hey, star. Hey, 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 let me tell you I'm something, I'm the Larry man. David of rap. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something, man. I yeah, mean, yeah, the I impact that. that you made made on hip hop. You know what I'm saying? And right. It's just an honor, man, to have you here in my studio on my couch. You know what I'm saying? In the whole nine, and I just thank God for putting you in my life. And we've had plenty of good times out mm -hmm. on the road together and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're like the God and, B boy. Yeah, man. Do you think you're the? Could we be like? Can we start that you are the Godfather B boy? Like, like the Godfather I won't say I'm the Godfather B boy, but I'm I'm the Godfather of hype. Of, but that was of, a B boy of, 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 of hot of hype man. You I know mean, what I'm saying to me, B boy. You look like a B boy. I mean, you still have back on in the days a B boy. We, was the dance that we used to do. Mm -hmm. We used to do the thing called the B-Boy, which now they call it break dancing today. Right, but right, back right. in the days, that was called the B-Boy. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. If you, you're going to give Cool Herc, I, I don't know what, how that Yo, goes. Yo, man, shout out goes out to Cool Herc. You know, they say that he has his situation. And, you know, they say, you know, Easy e has his situation. You know, everybody is kind of finding Rest their in place. Rest Easy. Who, who, how can we give you yours? But, because... He, he, the hype man, I, I don't really like the hype man. I, I, I think. Well, see, this is my definition. You're more than a hype man. You're a part of the group. I, I don't look at you as a hype man. Yeah. Well, 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 well. But my, you were a hype man. My but you had job, songs, my though. job as part of the group is being a hype man. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is because. So you're the best because, hype man, period. Because I'm the one that had to keep the crowd hype. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? I'm the one that hypes up the crowd, make them throw their hands in the air, and wave them like you just don't care. Everybody say, ho, right. ho. You know, all of that, right. that all of that's hyping up the crowd. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I was the who originator. Did, who, who did you get it from? Of, of, of doing that. Who did you get it from? I Just all that. It's all that you be doing. I got, it, got, it, I got it from being at parties mm -hmm. that we used to throw. And and we used to want to make the crowd hype. 
So you have to hype up the crowd. Mm. So who do you saying? see when you see yourself doing it? You say, "Damn, I kind of sound like this sometime." Who was the person that you saw doing it? Flav. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Me, you know what I'm saying? Not my own, not my own. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, yeah. Busy B, but, like the guys. But, but that... I never saw Busy B. Right. I never saw. The only thing I knew about Busy B back in those days was he had a cool. He he had a, a battle with Cool Mo D, and mm -hmm. Cool Mo D had ate him up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Busy B don't mean to be bold, but put, put, put that Bob Diddy Bob bullshit on hold. When Cool Mo D said that, the whole world went crazy. You know what I'm saying? Right. But Busy B is the originator of the Bob Diddy Bob Bang Bang Diddy Diddy Bob 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 Dang Bang Diddy Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's the originator of that. Right. You know what and I'm saying? And yours is the Yeah Boy. Yeah. Oh, definitely that. Definitely Nobody that. said that. Yeah, boy. Nobody but said that. I got that. yeah, boy, from LL Cool J. From where? LL Cool J. There was I'm one. Bad? There, when we were going to do the Afros uh, video, check this out. When we were going to do the Afro video, the Afros video in New Orleans, me and Todd was in the limousine. LL Cool J is his name is Todd, y'all. Just to let y'all know, yeah, Todd, boy, Todd is not on Bum Buster Show. Smith. We were in the limo by ourselves, right? Yeah, and boy, wasn't on Bum Rush the show. You never said that then. Mm, no. You couldn't have made that up. No, at no, the no. Afros I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't say yeah, boy, until we did bring the noise. And that was way before that. Check this out. Check oh. this out. We were going. We were. We were on our way to the Afros video, right. and LL used to say, "Yeah, boy." Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He used to say, yeah, boy. And what I did was I made the year longer mm -hmm. and I made the boy longer. Mm -hmm. And that's how it came out. Yeah, boy. Mm -hmm. And also, LL, uh -oh. Cool J. Another one. Is the first one to tell me, hey, yo, Flav, you know, we should take, we should take this rap and we should mix it with R&B. Mm -hmm. There was no R&B and rap records out around that time when mm -hmm. LL Cool J said that to me. That's how bright that Todd is, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? In the whole nine, I'll never, ever forget it that day in the, in the limousine on the way to the Afros video. Ever since LL said that to me, about a year or two later, then came rap, I mean R&B songs, and had rap artists on R and B songs. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But I heard it from LL Cool J first. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the whole nice. Because so, you know everybody because I was talking to Mel, like Melly Mel, I've had long conversations with him and like picking his brain because you know, I'm a part of hip hop. I wanna know Melly and he, Mel. And he was telling me like back in the day, like the whole Last Child goes out to Melly Mel. Yeah. Melly Mel. But he was like, some people, one person made up, yes, yes, y'all. And then another person made up, say ho. And then another person made up, to my ladies, to my ladies. And he said, then all of that became hip hop. But right. in the beginning, different people made up different things. And that became the party. Right. Almost like a, you know, kind of like a preset. So right. You have a party. You got to say ho. You got to say to the ladies. But they was all taken from other yeah. rappers creativity of their identity like their uh catchphrase right if i could say that like and that was yours you know yeah and it's it gotta be eight uh 84 85 hey well well we didn't come out with your bone no, i'm just saying well y'all y'all was together before y'all came out though the second album was it takes a nation of millions to hold us back. That's where Yeah Boy came out. So it wasn't on it wasn't Uzi Ways of Tons or nothing. It, it wasn't was on. A, I, hey, that's a trivial thing, man. Y'all got to go listen to Bum yeah. Rush the Show album. If you yeah. don't hear a Yeah Boy, that's fucking amazing. Yeah, I was I was that real live, the first real live. I'm going to say this word, street on records. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm the first up. street on records man right. you know because i brought that street vibe to to the records you know what right. i'm saying in the whole nine but 
But but there were groups before us, like the Cold Crush Brothers, for instance. Right. You know what I'm saying? They were bringing the the mad heavy rhymes mm -hmm. onto the records. You right. know what I'm saying? Shah Rock. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Curtis Blow. You know what you, I'm you, saying? You bringing think, the rhymes to the you records. Can, you, you can. Know? Uh, you can add. Wait, wait, hold on. You do you think that you can add to the hip hop awards? The Flavor Flav Hype Man Award. You think that could be a good award? I think it could be the done. The Flavor Flav Hype Man Award. I think it could be And then be you got to go back and, you know, especially Evil E. I mean, not yeah. Evil E, uh, uh, E Love. And you then, know, you know, tell you Vinny and uh, tell you Split Star. If I was getting ready to say, <laughs> if, the, if I was to give anybody the Flavor Flav Hype Man Award, who are going go to go to? Split, Split Star. Star. You damn right. <laughs> That's right, Split Star. Split Star would get that. You know what I'm saying? Vinny, Vinny go hard. You know what I'm saying? But I don't and know then, if Vinny would be then, uh, And then, and then, and then um, um, one other person that I do miss so so much. Rest in peace, Bushwick Bill. Bushwick Bill. Bushwick Bill from the Ghetto Boys because he, he was the hype man the, for the Ghetto the hype Boys. hype man award. You know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, you might be on to something nine. with that. Yeah. Uh -huh. when, when Buster started really changing up his style, you know, he When was they do the, the duck, he was, I, I love that. He, when he, they do he, that he was Flavor Flav all over again, but in right. his own element. Yeah. Buster Rhymes was Flavor Flav over again, but in his own element. Would, and when he came... With the oh my god, oh my god, mm -hmm. oh yeah, that was Flav. Who, who, who? That was Flav, but in a whole different element now. Right. Buster turned that shit around. <laughs> what, 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 what level would ODB come in at? Huh? Who would ODB, oh, ODB come in? ODB, come on, he was the hype man for Wu Tang. I mean, but where, how, how would he rank? Okay, check this out. Check this Does out. Does he rank higher than Split check Star? Check this out. Check this out. ODB check, check, rank higher than Flip Star? Check this out. Okay. First, there was Public Enemy, right? Yeah. Flavor Flav hype man for Public Enemy. Right. Then there was Ghetto Boys. Well, yeah, E-Love, but Listen, he then there was it. Ghetto Boys. E-Love is not a hype man? It was Bushwick Bill. E-Love is not a hype man? No, E-Love e, e was a wingman. Oh. And the reason why he was a wingman, because all he did was just play yeah. on LL's wing. He never had a mic. But uh -oh. he walked out and they got hype. With yeah, the, but he never he had, had the, the mic. Okay, he never okay. had the mic and he never had people. Come on, yo. He never tried to rock, you know, rouse people up. All he did was just carry the box side on kick. stage. And he would go from He's one like side of the kick. stage to the other and cross his arms. And that was it. Right. You know what I'm saying? In the whole nine. So second came mm. Bushwick Bill, right? Right. Third came Leaders of the New School. Because Leaders of the New School came out after Ghetto Boys. Right. A lot, lot way after. Then Wu-Tang Clan. Well, not that much after. Wu-Tang Clan came out after right. Leaders of the New School. Right. Leaders of the New School was there before Wu-Tang. So that's why ODB would, be, would, would come in fourth. Well, I wouldn't and, say and, come you know in I'm order saying? when wait, they wait, came. Wait, I'm wait, saying wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. ODB is way Let up there, finish. man. Is a Let hype me man, finish. Man. Let me finish. Let me finish. You know, so 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 Wu Tang is the fourth group to come out with a hype man, right? right? Then the fifth group to come out with a hype man was Flip Mode Squad, Buster Rhyme Squad, mm -hmm. and that's when Spliff Star appeared right you know what i'm saying in the whole nine so i was just saying them in order in you got order ziggy. In, in order <laughs> i was the first hype man you got bill ziggy? was the second one you remember ziggy buster and spliff was third ziggy dipset don't get a mention okay <laughs> well they came with. well they came <laughs> after but they came you. after <laughs> they came after flip mode right right no but just because they came after don't mean they can't rank high I know, I understand that. Right. I understand that. I was just naming them in order. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to do your Flavor Flav but, Hype Man Award. But, but, if I was to give the award to anybody, the hypest motherfucker in the group, crew right now, oh, that's Spliff Star by far. Would there be any, would there be any women hype women? Um, That don't exist. Um, I've never seen a woman group have a hype girl. 
Never. What about, you know what what about Red Man's sister? She was turned up for a minute. She, Yo, what's up, Reggie? She was turned up a little bit. A word? Yeah, I like See, it. And, and I never seen her. I okay. never seen her. So that's why I don't know about her. Right. But if she was the one talking all through on Red Man stuff. Oh, well, then she's the first female hype woman. <laughs> <laughs> she's the first right. female hype woman then and one that I didn't know about. Right. Well, I'm you just know, Red Man, that's hope... my dude. Yeah, Red Man's dope. Red Man is my brother. You so know, that's, that's my guy. Who... Shout out goes out to you too, Red Man. Who could be a woman hype? Word up, on a strength. You know what I'm saying? Lil Mama was a hype man for Jay Z when she ran on stage. <laughs> okay, and see, and I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? See, so you know. You didn't I'm, see when Lil you, Mama ran on stage? You, you, I probably was locked up. <laughs> I'm sorry. When Lil Mama ran out on stage with Jay Z, I, I was on Rikers. Jay Z in. And in, I didn't and know. Alicia Keys doing the best performance of Light of the Lifetime. And for some reason, Lil Mama, the rapper, thought that Jay Z said, "Come on stage," which he didn't. And she went out there anyway. Yeah. And did she hype up the crowd? No. Yeah. Okay, then if she hyped <laughs> up the crowd, then she's up in there too. But hyping up the crowd could be unruly, like you know, the so that did hype the crowd up, but not in a good way. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, well, me, well, hype man, hype she crowd can, up can, man, that's period. A hype, that's a hype woman, I you guess. Know? I guess there is no hype woman. Well, hey, hey, call Flav, hit Flav on his DM, and let's find out who is the like, equivalent of Flavor Flav as a female. A word, girl. let's do that. You know what I'm saying? Word up. You know. You should and, make a Flavor Flav. And then Flav I'm going to have her right here sitting in my studio doing a podcast with her. She gonna say, "Yeah, girl." Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> no. Hey, yo, no, James. No. Yeah, yeah. So check this out, man. Let's go. Is there anything you wanna promote? You want? You know what I'm saying? Anything you wanna promote? What you're doing now and everything? I mean, now is your time to put it out there. You know what I'm saying? You wanna put out your social media. Oh man, I'm just glad that you, you know having me saying? here. I, I just, really don't have too much to 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 promote. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm 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 blessed that uh, people even acknowledge me in this game of, of hip hop, man. And um, I'm always happy. Everybody know I always got the jokes, you know. And um, man, and you know, just check me out. You know, check out some new artists. You know, go out go out of your your comfort zone sometime and give your ears a chance sometime. You you. You might can find something real good, you know, with the internet being around. There's no excuse of not studying other genres of music and 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 realizing what their passion is. You know, I, I like to hear other people's passion, you know, and to make music. So, oh uh, man, I'm I'm just happy that you you know you got uh the the uh the the, the janitor in here. <laughs> and I gotta go back to it in a little bit. I'm glad yo, you're here. Hey, yo, listen, man. I'm behind more behind the scenes than a brick wall, man. I, I, what I want to do, too, man, yeah. before we step off of here, I want to present you with my book. Ah! Oh. You crazy. What? You crazy, James. But, yo, I want to present you with my book, Flavor oh, Flavor. Man. You got a lot. You're going to be looking like, uh, like a movie star. You got a whole bunch of shit to sign over there. Thank you, brother. Thank oh, you, thank man. Thank you, Flav. Up, yeah. Man? But but Jinx, I really really want to thank you, man, so much, bro. And hey, give you a drop right spot. quick. Do a drop right quick. Hey, you guys, check this out. You know, I just bought this Flavor Flav book, and you know what? I'm finna keep reading. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> hey, yo, everybody in the building, <laughs> Flavor Flav. This is my guy. Thank you for I having love him me, so man. Much. And y'all can't help but love this brother right here. You got the blinged out clock. The original Ice Cube DJ. Just yes. remember that. You know what I'm saying? And he goes by the name of Sir Jinx. Imperial Sir Jinx. Imperial yeah. Sir Jinx. Let me get it right. Yo, thank you, Jinx. I appreciate you, My bro. My man. Yo, for Flavor Flav in the building. You more than welcome, G. Flavor Flav in the building. Yeah, boy, this concludes another episode of the Flavor Flav Show. Everybody, thank you for your time. This time. Until next time. 
Cheers! Yeah, boy! No chance. Thank you, man. <laughs>